Imagine all of Indian contemporary art on one platform, as a single snapshot in time. And imagine a process which finds new heroes of Indian art every year and awards them recognition on a national and international stage. That is essentially what we have tried to do in setting up the Skoda Prize. In 1999, I was in London, and I went into the Tate Gallery drawn by the euphoria created by the Turner Prize that year. And seeing the crowds of 40 to 50,000 people, I remember thinking, This truly is the democratization of art. And it's exactly what we need here in India. So we at 70 EMG decided to put together what will become one of the world's great art prizes. To do this, we got the impartial, and the very knowledgeable Girish Sahane to act as our consultant. The two things that really make a prize are the fact that we have to get the best entrance and that we have the best jury. We had three judges who come from varied backgrounds. There's Tasneem Mehta, who heads a very famous institution in Bombay, the Bhauda Jilad Museum. There's Rajshri Prati, who's an educationist and a collector and an industrialist. And there's Kavita Singh of Jawaharlal Nehru University. I think it's been difficult to be able to assess because you see such a range of work. What this has done is to bring into the forefront or to bring to the attention uh, of the public, the general public, artists who may not otherwise have had that opportunity to be seen from uh, more parochial areas or smaller tier two cities uh, whose work is also uh, quite strong and has the potential to develop. That's been a very for me, a very rewarding process as well. So now, from the 169 entries, we went down to a 20-strong long list, which was really so incredible that we decided we had to put it together as a catalogue. People will look at these catalogues down the years and say, yes, these were the 20 most important shows of this year. Eventually, this too had to be narrowed down to three finalists. Here goes. Albert Bala Subramanian. Nitu <laughs> Sen. And the last one is Kiran Subaya. <laughs> so then the work of the three finalists was exhibited at the Max Müller Bhavan in Delhi. I think primarily uh, when I make work, even when it first comes into my mind, I am the audience of that thought. So I'm always trying to please the audience in myself. They always come and tell me that um, your work is good, we really like it. And obviously they don't want to hurt my feelings, so that's why they say it and that's why I don't take the audience reaction too seriously. When I start working physically, then I become very spontaneous then I'm very skilled expressing myself. Sometimes I think like, you know, my paper and me are like two different uh, characters, like a male or female, and maybe they are kind of making love. We try to like provoke, we try to flirt, and then something happens. And this is like our child. Technically, it is sculpture, but for me, you know, they are work work you know that is the word i am more comfortable because if the subject requires drawing as a medium then i use the drawing and if the subject requires sculpting then i sculpt for me when i'm doing work i wouldn't even think you know how it can be classified i just do it because the medium is so important for me to express the subject i'm dealing with At a very grand, very well-attended finale at the Taj in uh, New Delhi, we were lucky enough to have the world's greatest living sculptor, in fact, the world's greatest artist. Mr. Anish Kapoor, 
give away the inaugural Skoda Prize for Indian contemporary art. I'm not sure that artists are heroes. In fact, I'm sure artists are not heroes. We're exactly the opposite. We're perfectly ordinary um, and very real. Uh, but sometimes what we do is hero heroic. Mr. Kapoor will now announce the first winner of the Skoda Prize for Indian Contemporary Art. The winner is Mithu Sen. What has taken the Turner Prize over 15 years to accomplish, we think we have created in the first year of the Skoda Prize. We know that the Skoda Prize over the next 10 to 15 years is going to act as a record of the incredible journey that India is on. We're very, very proud of what we've achieved so far, and we're looking forward to building this prize year on year into the future. <laughs>